It's actually making the problem worse, because you're admitting that there was a problem. And your fix is just to have more checkpoints. Which is actually not the answer. The answer is to make a better stage that doesn't need more checkpoints, just because it's, it's too long and it's too hard. Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 28 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited and Mega Man Rock and Roll, I'm here to tell you my honest opinions on different Mega Man games. So sit tight and learn. <laughs> Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates Your Mega Man Maker Stages Competition. Derelict Extravation. Daryl. Fuck! Username. Lenny. Let's see uh, what is cooking. Double jump disabled, so it's base. So we oughta treat this as an extra stage. Since we're not playing with Mega Man. So we got a Tarnish Hold, White Shield, and a Bomb Cracker. Oh my god, he doesn't know the name! Uh, somehow I like the fact that you can't shoot through the wall here. So you've uh, prevented us from killing that enemy and uh, coming... Uh, and coming to... Uh, and uh, putting us to, uh, to face the challenge. Alright, let's see uh, what's cracking. Cracking. Oh my god, look. Uh, that's a clever design. Oh my god! Okay, I'll give you uh, points for that. Son of a bitch. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand the problems we're facing with base. Which is actually a nice idea. Look. That's kind of uh, cute. So we'll treat this stage as uh, some sort of like a, an extra stage on an official game. I can see that. I can see that's the thing. Hello again. Can't go there. Okay. Introduction. See how that plays out. I can see the tellies are trying to stop us from killing this fellow. But I have mastered it. Ah! Oh! Look, he thinks we're gonna need tornado hold here. <laughs> He's wrong. Son of a. Yep, yep. Oh my god, he doesn't know he can just dash. Oh shit. Hadouken! You happy now? You happy? Can be done. Can be done without weapons. Not a gimmick stage. Happy day. Not a gimmick stage. Can be done without weapons. Cool. You do benefit from uh, using weapons here and there. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Jog! Seems like a fun stage uh, so far. There we go. There we are. Good room here. And it's uh, not as gimmicky as I thought in the beginning. This uh, seems irritating here, that part, but it's actually not, for some reason. And that's just... Uh, the perfect spot here, don't uh, <laughs> get killed by that. Yeah, that's interesting, uh, a, me a mechanic with those conveyor builds. Very, uh, very satisfying when uh, you uh, figure that out. God damn, that's near the edge. It's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I don't wanna kill this lamp, because I wanna prove to myself that this is gonna be... Shit! There we go. Oh yeah, that feels good. Checkpoint screen. I'll allow it. <laughs> cool. I mean, not a lot of flaws in this uh, stage. Uh oh. Huh. And uh, the fact that you don't need weapons is uh, a good. At least so far. I kind of love how you've uh, built the uh, stage for base. And you don't hit your head. The stage has a lot uh, right. Maybe a bit more enemy types would benefit the stage, but... This is an example of a clean stage that works out. <sighs> Can you do this without weapons? I would prefer if in the engine, if you dashed into a, a spring, it would actually jump you up at the same time. 
Alas, not the case. So how do I make this? Without weapon studies. There has to be a way to somehow... I can't uh, test this because the enemies are coming. How do I simultaneously... Oh, I don't know how I did that. Oh, it's just hold the dash at the same time. I should have figured that out, huh? Well... Oh, it didn't... It doesn't work every time. What the fuck? It only works sometimes. I don't know what I'm... Oh, now I just made it normally. Even the spring obstructs us. I don't know how I'm... Uh, how to do this. Uh. Shoot. I should just use the tornado hole. That's what you get for trying to figure things out. I can see it's possible. Oh! You kind of teach us there with the uh, springs being like that. So if you're already dashing as you hit the spring, I believe the dash carries over. That's probably how it works. But trying to do that in that room with the tellies. Yes, it does carry over like that. So it's just... You teach us there. <coughs> you teach us there, but... Trying to do it here. In this uh, small space with this telly is constantly coming. They're just... They're just in your way. Okay, I get it now. I understand. <coughs> it's just... Uh, maybe a bit too tight. But I do like the challenge, so... I'm kind of conflicted about that one. Shit, that's a bad... That, that's a bad spot for the telly. Your, uh, you're directing the player to a certain spot, and as they reach it, you hit them, which is basically not a good idea. That's always a, a pit, pit. <laughs> That's always a pet peeve of mine. Apparently, getting uh, my puberty. Uh, well, that's a pet peeve of mine when uh, you direct the player to a spot. And then there's something there that hits them, right as you direct them to your... Uh... Like, look at this. You want us to go uh, on the springs to jump over the next spot. As you do that, a telly spawns and fucking hits you. Of course, in hindsight, in hindsight I should have checked before I went. But that's uh, such an obvious spot where uh, a little bit of a tweak would have benefited the design. It's not as bad as I originally thought. But it's a good uh, teaching uh, teaching spot anyway. In even if it's not like uh, completely horrid. I, I see. I'm a bit of an idiot, but I do like the challenge. So if you're wondering, is my uh, <coughs> so if you're wondering, is my stage a gimmick stage? Well, uh, this stage is on the borderline completely. So if your stage is like this, you've got nothing to worry about. I'll accept uh, a stage like this. So there's your answer. Ah! Sh okay, that's lucky as fuck. Okay, good uh, length as well for the stage. Game Boy! Oh, Gox. What the? Oh no. Uh, how have this happened? Oh my god. Oh, this is a twist on a sheep, man. I should be able to kill the clouds with the base. It's a nice ch uh, change of pace. Uh, not a huge fan of this, obviously. Kind of easy to cheese, even, as you can tell. Just <laughs> grab this ladder and you're done. You don't have to do anything. And anything that you can't hit, it's not gonna hit you, so you don't have to do anything. Probably the worst uh, thing about this stage now is this boss and how it's designed. Hmm. So I can't hit hit any of those, so they're not gonna hit me. See? Interesting room layout, but super easy. If I didn't figure this out, this would have been uh, too hard. So the boss design is your weakest spot. You're the weakest link. Oof. Well then. Hey, that's a, a breath of fresh oil. Design 8.3. Delivery 7. Progression 7.1, Fun Factor 8.5, with a total score of 7.7. .7. That's a good start for today. Who next? Who this?
Adrian Sin here, Edge. I came to the conclusion that my last try was a little bit too hard. Not for you, but the Mega Man Maker player community did let me know with the downvotes. Nah, that doesn't mean shit. Don't check the vote, uh, upvotes and downvotes, they mean fucking nothing. I present to you the version with more checkpoints. I don't think you know, <laughs> know me. I prefer a vanilla stage with one checkpoint in the middle and one in the bathroom. So I was... Actually, let's go... I'm gonna do something that we haven't done before. Let's go check his previous stage. If that's... Uh, oh, shit. Let's go check if he still has the uh, other stage online. If he does, let's go check that out. Um, so it's users levels. The quarry squad. More checkpoints and the quarry squad. So... I'm gonna do something that we haven't done uh, before and we're gonna play the original and then I'm gonna briefly check this and uh, let's see uh, what the community's uh, opinion is or this certain community's versus mine so I'll check your with the down it says minus one don't overanalyze it minus one means nothing don't even look at this number it means nothing it's only 10 plays so you can't say the community uh, Let's check the original. So this is not the one that was submitted to me, but this is the one with uh, not as many checkpoints. Let's see how uh, how I think about it, because I'm really curious now. If you know my channel, you should know that I'm a, a man of the uh, 80s Mega Man, which is one checkpoint per stage, one at the bathroom, typically. So the only thing that I, I would... Uh, The only thing I would uh, be uh, scared of is if your level design was bad, then there's nothing I can do about it. What is that? I don't know what we got. Didn't have a chance to look. Now, how do I go back? Asking for a friend. Okay. Okay. Yo, this is a problem. Oh, that doesn't work on the flamethrowers? Peep. That's not gonna work. So we we should have been faster. So this just uh, this is just a secret, so it doesn't really matter. But let's see what it is. I don't know what that is. I haven't done my research apparently. Oh god, there's a block uh, in the way, so it looks like I couldn't go back. Should probably. Uh, Done that in some other way. Well, let's see. There's a bit of enemy spam here. Three enemies introduced to us immediately. That's a bit of a problem. Four enemies, in fact, in one spot. You always want to introduce enemies uh, in a slower manner rather than just introducing all of them. So the only way these uh, mets come into play is if you stand there like an idiot talking to your audience. If you don't do that, just wait for these shots to go over, go and then kill them. So, this is kind of a pointless section. Um, this is blocked. Oh, you're supposed to let them do that. See, you should have probably blocked this whole uh, left wall here. Interesting, but not at the same time. Yeah, y your main problem with uh, level design is the enemy spam and how you put enemies in the stage. It's not coherent, it's uh, messy, and as such it's hard to read every given screen. So if you want to know how to place enemies, just, I mean, watch my videos or uh, check the top 10 in this competition. It's an interesting idea to proceed, you have to let these fellows crack the uh, floor, but at the same time it's not done so well that I would be like, wow! It's an idea that hasn't been fully developed. Oh, there's Yoku blocks. There's one Yoku block, so you can use the uh, concrete shot. Well, you could use it anyway, but I can see what you did there. That's actually a pretty cool, cool idea. Well, that's close. Alright. Now what? Well, that's a warning of things to come, I presume. 
Yes, this is so hard to read. Oh, okay. Hard to read, your graphics are all, all over the place. Things are happening so fast and other times so slow that you never really get the grip uh, of the uh, uh, progression. And the delivery uh, is just... It's not good. And this is a, a good example of a design where it really uh, just... You, you just want to rush and get damaged by that. I just killed it just uh, so we can see. Okay, so... Yet another uh, thing where you wait if you want the item. That doesn't even set it off. Let me... Guess. Yes, I understand. Come on. And that'll set it off and then we get the E tank. Oh, it, it didn't drop. Okay, that's a problem. I was gonna say you have some nice ideas for pickups, but it didn't actually work out. I hope you know that it doesn't. <laughs> oh god. I love going up and down with the chose uh, standing there. So, I can see that there has been no checkpoints yet. <clears throat> In this case, when the stage is like this, if you're bad at Mega Man, this is gonna get quite upsetting. <laughs> oh my god, you blocked the way! Thank god, it didn't matter. Was that actually a pit or was just... What is down here? So it's... Okay, so you can go two ways, huh? Yeah, okay, I see. Does this hurt us? No, it doesn't. Alright. So there's just no checkpoint, huh? Or is there like multiple bosses? So you should... Like... It, this is the rare instance where the community might be right. There should have been one checkpoint here already. There's none. I was like... When you said you needed a version with more checkpoints, I was like... Maybe you have, now, now you have like eight. But no, it's literally you have none. <laughs> so far. I mean, you should have had one and this should have been a stage already. Pretty close to it anyway. So that's... I thought this was a classic instance of amateurs playing your stage and being like, This is too hard! But actually, this is one, uh, one of those instances where it actually you have no checkpoints at all. Here's one now. So that's kind of the meat boss. I think uh, for someone who's played a lot of Mega Man, that's not too bad actually. But it can be uh, a bit bothersome. So I think uh, because the stage is so messy, it's easy to die. And for that reason, uh, people can get upset about the fact that uh, it's easy to die. And then as you die, you have to repeat all of that. Uh oh. Oh, that doesn't hurt you. Good. Good to know, huh? So... The rooms are all over the place. It's not... It's not too well done, I'm saying. You can tell this... Oh, God. Look before you go, huh? You were, uh... Diverting my eyes to look at the challenge ahead. And then I missed the, uh, magma laser. As a result, of course, kind of my problem, but can I use this? Can I use my friends? <laughs> That's an interesting challenge there. So now, just don't go another useless fence in this competition. I feel like at this point people just use them because of the joke. There's a fellow down there, I can set that on fire, but why would I do that? Just go, I don't like that challenge. I don't like waiting there. Okay. A lot to look for. If this stage was a bit more coherent, a bit more classic styled, the uh, checkpoint placement would be that of Mega Man Unlimited, which is not horrible, not great, I think, but... For, it depends who is playing your stage. If it's a complete amateur, here <laughs> they're gonna hate this. I don't think this necessarily needs more checkpoints, but it, but uh, that's a, a problem of your stage to begin with. 
If you need more checkpoints, then you have some problems with your game design. Am I just supposed to go right? Yes, and okay. I shoot. So you have to ask yourself. Do I need more checkpoints because the stage is not designed well? Or do I need them because it's genuinely uh, a good length for a stage and it's fun? This is quite a typical uh, Mega Man Maker stage. Yeah, this is the worst screen so far. It's way too precise for what you're asking. Luckily you can do that, but still it's, it's not helping much. So the only reason you might need checkpoints is because the stage is not well designed. In this instance I wouldn't blame the community for saying that you need more checkpoints. They're right in the sense that it's too hard. And uh, they're right in the sense that it's not designed well, I think. And that's the reason why you need more checkpoints. It's uh, The pacing is wrong, essentially. So by just giving me a, a version with more checkpoints doesn't actually fix the problem. It's actually making the problem worse, because you're admitting that there was a problem. And your fix is just to have more checkpoints. Which is actually not the answer. The answer is to make a better stage that doesn't need more checkpoints just because it's it's too long and it's too hard. For the wrong reasons. This is not hard because it's it, it doesn't deserve to be hard. This is just uh, aggravating uh, designs that's causing uh, the player to die. So by designing a better stage and just having one checkpoint in there should be your answer. Not recreating the whole, uh, same stage by just adding checkpoints. That's not fixing it. So this is an irritating screen. This is actually horrible. Okay. That's gonna be just out of rhythm. And now there's just more enemy spam and see what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna skip them. Whenever you uh, have enemy spam, then the player is not gonna scare... Uh, then the player is not gonna care about the uh, challenge at all. What is going on here? No clue. Okay. Okay, so I just... Okay. Oh god. Okay. Are you kidding me? That's horrible. I'm glad it worked out, but come on. Oh my god, fuck. Alright, so I can tell what the problem is. You're expecting too much out of the player. And now we're running out of things to use. So that's becoming a, another problem. There's no pickups anywhere in the stage. Funny how this glitching. <clears throat> See, I was like, well, maybe the community doesn't know again, because they just always demand more check. They just always demand more checkpoints and more checkpoints, just so they can easily beat the level and not be challenged at all. But this is actually not well done. So, I'll take the community side on this one, for for the first time ever. Although you speak of community, like ten people played your stage and yet it has one downvote. Yeah, once you die enough, you're not gonna have uh, any pickups and you're, you'll run out of concrete shot. And now we're down here. Is this better? Oh, shit. God damn! And now I'll just wait. Doopy doopy doo. Rigals! So your price for this route is a 1-up. That's a huge jump to make. We're gonna die here, no, th there's no question about it. Yep. Oh god. So now, I would much rather go check out the other version. And even with more checkpoints, it's not gonna be better. Because it's still the same stage with the same problems. It's kind of like uh, manufacturing a shitty car that you have to bring to the shop like every 500 uh, kilometers. Just so you can keep it running. Oh, so it takes your uh, power armor away. For whatever reason. Does it? Yeah, it does. So just so you get an uh, E-Tank, it takes your power armor away. That's an interesting, uh, interesting idea. 
So let's see how many checkpoints there are now. The first section wasn't that bad. I mean, it was honestly doable. Quite easily doable, but the second section is where the problem is. There was one there, but you need a weapon to use. I uh, get that. So that checkpoint is in the same place. So you also recognize the actual problem here. It's the later section. So now there's this checkpoint which uh, was here previously. Now let's see where you put the rest. Your problem is not the lack of checkpoints, it's the lack of knowing how to make a stage. So if you look at some of the top 10 levels in this competition, they don't need uh, a lot of checkpoints to overcome their bad designs. They don't need a... Uh, it just should be without saying, of course. I don't see uh, much more checkpoints here though. Where are they? It's probably just before the uh, section where uh, everybody dies. Nah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, it's not here yet. Oh yeah. Nice luck. Oh, cooks. Get rid of the Susies that killed me last time. Okay. So I was expecting like 16 sec checkpoints in this section, but no. That's not what happened. Ooh! Okay, here's one. So I'm guessing there was no checkpoint here. Yeah, th there was not. So that's actually a good checkpoint. But, but again, it's the stage is just not good, so... That's why the checkpoint is there. To overcome that problem. How the fuck do you do this? Alright. A little bit of uh, finesse. Oh my no. What? Excuse me? What the fuck am I supposed to do there? Oh god. Oh, what? So that's why people got mad. <laughs> It's a horribly done section, and then the checkpoint is like five hours away. I can see that. But how the heck are you gonna make it in time? Fuck! That's an awful placement. I'm supposed to just lay down a concrete shot and go past it. I, I, maybe you can do that without it, but... Holy shit. Are you serious? And I'm running out of concrete shot again. Oh, let's just try and go up here. Oh, there's lasers here, so I have to wait. Oh my god. So once you learn how to make stages, you don't have to worry about the lack of checkpoints, because you always have that one. It's always gonna be there in the same way. Oh my god, that's useless. No! I hate this. Oh god. See, I was gonna go all like, here's me teaching you how not to always listen to the community. But hey, this is the one time out of a hundred where you actually might have to. Just wait for this to uh, blow over. And then we don't have any more of the concrete shot, which we need. So now we're probably fucked. There's no way we can make this in time. Fuck! Yeah, I've, there's no way. I mean, I could blow the fellow before. Ah, oh, there we go. But good luck trying to do that when... What the f... What now? Oh god. No fucking way. <laughs> oh, okay. It didn't matter. Thank god. Oh no, I landed on those. Shit. You missed the secret boss. I don't really care though. Oh, tch, please hit that. Oh. So once you learn how to make stages, checkpoints should no longer be your problem. Gotcha. Got it. Even though the... Uh, okay. Well, that's... an awful listen to all of us. <laughs> Design 2.9, Delivery 3.7, Progression 2.8, Fun Factor 1.5, with a total score of 2.7. I just remembered something funny and laughed. Poi boy boy. JP Thunder, Neon Man, 
Just don't get a seizure. Jesus. It can't be that bad, right? Uh oh. Slide enabled. Charge Mega Man. No. And a full arsenal of crap. Oh, Cox. It's a part of her thing. Let's pick our weapons then. Let's take this in case the stage is bullshit. Let's take this in case we need bees. Let's take this in, in case we have to uh, collide in the walls. Let's take this in case we have to freeze someone. Let's take this in case we are uh, in Saudi Arabia. Let's take this in case we need noise crush to noise people. Let's take the chimney laser, I love it. Let's take these, these seem like fun. What? N I couldn't. No. No. All right. Let's start the stage and pre uh, pretend nothing happened. It began from here. Looking all right. And I love beaks. You know I love me some beaks. Introductions to the enemies. There they are now. He's bouncing all around. Love it. Now we know how they work. And that's the teaching element on that. Jewel man fellow. This is a good music here. Okay, I understand. Well, uh, well done. Uh oh. Now we know how the uh, penguin works, so we kill it. Interesting. Very uh, self explanatory so far, like walking through a museum of sorts. And of course, everyone loves the uh, dark segments. Just everyone loves those. Just go, go through that. Let's hope things amp up here shortly. Oh my god. <laughs> so there's not much to say about the stage, about the stage. It's very simple in nature. Okay. Another good use of this Mario platform. It's from Mega Man 11 for this meat boss. It's cool. Checkpoint. Oh! Didn't think- Oh! Didn't think that would- Oh! Didn't think that would happen, my man. It's a fun surprise element. You should have probably somehow showed me that's gonna happen. No, actually not. Surprises are part of video games. I'll allow it. Uh, quite an easy stage. Well, uh, fuck. We'll see how uh, it ramps up, right? It ramps up at some point. It's gonna ramp up. It, it can't be this simple till the, till, till the end. Oh, I'm just rushing now because I, I don't really give a, a bother, as they would say in uh, China. <laughs> okay. Oh, near, near. Combining all the enemies we know, the big is standing on nothing. That's a bit of uh, an oversight, I guess. But I preferred some tiles down there. Very simple, my man. Where's the... Uh... It's just that uh, there's no progression here. It's just the same throughout the entire thing. So I'm just rushing through it. Oh god, I hate where you have to slide back and forth. Oh, Cox. Oh, that's just a scare. I love me some scares. So is something gonna happen? Or is... Oh, different background. How did I... That's the gate, I was kind of rushing it and hoping for the big eye to just let me through. Now I have to repeat all of this. I love it! Yeah. Yeah. I hate how they kind of... They like cling to the top of the platform. <laughs> not a, not the biggest fan. Hey, this is... It's like a walk in the park, it's a walking simulator. There's nothing going on, there's no challenge. There's no... Oh, shit. I'm creating challenge to myself because I'm rushing through this. If I just went very slowly, this would be the easiest stage ever made. And the way people use those uh, blackout platforms here, they just rarely succeed. It's just... It's not intriguing, it's not... Like, there are nothing well... Uh, well designed spots. It doesn't really contribute anything. Other than just a few extra jumps to make the lights come back up. So all the damage I take here is just 
me rushing through this. And I got all the weapons. <laughs> which are completely useless. If you need weapons for this stage, you're in trouble. That's gonna come back. Yep, nice placement. So, let's use... Uh, Let's uh, overcome bad uh, stage layout by using that then. I used a weapon. Is that the boss? It's a meat boss. So here's hoping. It's crystal man. So here's hoping. The second se uh, part of this level amps up in difficulty. If it doesn't. What's kind of a wordless level? Shui good mod really. Oh, there we go! I'm glad you gave us the E-Tank so I can just rush through. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. Excuse me? That was the stage. Oh, that's a walking simulator. That's not... And of course it has 16 upvotes. It just highlights the fact who, who this game was made for. It was made for little children who were uh, light easy. Design 3, delivery 3.7, progression 0 0.2, fun factor 0 0.4, with a total score of 1.8. If you agree with what I said, leave a like. If you disagree, leave a dislike. Catch you next time. Hop into our Discord to talk about Mega Man, White Bread, and the neighbor's dog. Check out my Patreon for rewards, or if you just wanna buy me coffee to get my quotes on your shirt. Go to our Teespring store. If you want to see weekly Mega Man races, check out Snapster. To help me out, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one.